Alola, Dapper Drabby here, and today I was going to do a Gudra deck for you, something you guys may have not seen, you know, it's a pet deck of mine, I've been trying to put it together, um, it's two interesting attacks, Power Whip, this attack does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to this Pokemon to one of your opponent's Pokemon, so bench sniping, that kind of stuff. Okay, I wasn't sure. I thought it stopped recording on me for a second. I was confused. But, uh, because I did Nine Tails, um, I did Nine Tails in Greninja last week, I thought, you know what, I probably should not do that Nine Tails again this week. Um, <clears throat> we'll end up running into more Metagross, right? Uh, so, I'm gonna put this on hold till next week, and we'll go over this deck then and try it out. Um, now, in my travels, I also thought of another deck I was going to do, which is Gliscor, Finishing Stinger. If your opponent's active Pokemon has no damage counters on it, before this attack it does nothing. So, I was pairing that with Tapu Koko to get some Flying Flip attacks down, and then two Finishing Stinger, um, paired it with a few other things. <clears throat> but... Again, uh, it didn't feel right. I can't find the consistency quite yet. So I came up with a third deck that I think might be a little more interesting. It is, uh, it's based off of deck text or text, uh, tech cards that I saw in all the lists at the national international championships um, that happened uh, last weekend, I believe. <clears throat> So, I went through the list, I watched some of the stream, and I was looking for cards that, uh, that, uh, people threw in, like, one ofs, two ofs, to be deck techs to try to add damage and stuff like that towards their total goal. So I ultimately decided, uh, that I wanted to base a deck off of Tapu Koko, of course. Flying Flip, the 20 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. I was like... I like that a lot. Uh, I want to use this Tapu Koko, keep it single prize card trade, but what can I pair it with uh, that is also a deck tech? And um, I, instantly saw, I instantly thought of like a lot of people were playing Espeon for Miraculous Shine. That's because they were playing Decidueye or Greninja, putting up uh, 60 damage and then Miraculous Shining to knock those ones out. You know, 60 to 80 damage. And I was like, well, I can try to do the same thing over four turns with Tapu Koko. It's not as strong, not as quick, but uh, could definitely get some late game knockouts with Espeon. Not depriming anything. Um, I also saw people teching in Passimian for like Darkrai and Drampas and those kind of things. You know, team playing, one shots Drampas, uh, one shots Darkrai's. So I thought, hey, let's put that in there. And with a uh, Mew, or with a uh, with Pistimian, you can always add a Mew. So I added one of these. Um, wasn't sure about adding more. Uh, I could, but there's just not a lot of space left in this deck. I'm playing a ton of tech cards, basically. Um, so I put one Mew because the Mew can copy, you know, it can copy Coco, it can copy Pistimian, it can copy Espeon, it can copy Oracorio. You can copy almost anything in the deck, except for the Octillery line I put. Um, I chose Octillery over Shaman because it's more consistent overall, I think. It keeps a like, steady flow of cards, and I think this deck can work better with a steady flow of cards. You're definitely not going to see this kind of deck anywhere else. Uh, I don't know if anyone's even going to try something like this. So I'm not sure how consistent, how good it is, but it's a rogue deck, you know, it can... It's def it has all those cards that people are tacking into their main decks in order to counter the big threats. You know, Oracorio is in here for Vespa Quinn and uh, a lot any any deck that plays a lot of Pokemon that can look in their discard. <clears throat> um, one thing I should have added was maybe a Sudowoodo. I got two Tapu Leles in here for Wonder Tag and Energy Drive. Like I said, Mew can use any of these. 
so he's like a cheap one prize Lele, right? Uh, we got, I was gonna, I was thinking of like putting in Garbotoxin, but I didn't really find the space for that, so I decided to throw Wobbuffet in here with Bibaracle. Runs your active Pokemon, each po each Pokemon in play, in the hand. Our discard pile has no abilities except for Psychic Pokemon, so except for the Tapu Lele's, which is fine with me. It's the occasional, like, throw it in the active to stop them from using abilities during their turn. And you can flip it back to you. If you have a floatstone, put it on Wobbuffet, retreat it to any of your free retreaters, and uh, get an attack off. And then I have Octillery for Abysmal Hand, draw support. Same with the Rangaroo. Um, just trying to keep a steady flow of cards to continuously get things up. Uh, but let's look at the total here. The total, <clears throat> the total is here. And we'll go ahead and export this. I don't think I'm going to change anything right now. Um, but it doesn't show everything here. So we have two, uh, two field blowers in here. We got, uh, I believe, two rescue stretchers. See, it's probably hard for me to tell. Yeah, okay. One a special charge. Four ultra ball. Four VS seekers. One Brooklet Hill. It's really good for getting out, uh, Passimian and Remoraid. Uh, we have one sky field for extending our bench to be able to play four Passimians and some, and then some, you know. Uh, we got, I believe, one or two Team Magma Seeker base, two Team Magma Seeker base. We try to get that little bit of extra damage down. Um, we play one Bridget to search out with uh, Tapu Lele, one Hex Maniac to shut off abilities in case we don't have Wobbuffet in the active and we need to shut off abilities. Uh, I believe it's either one, I think it's one Lysander, yeah, one Lysander because we do have sniping power with the 20 damage across the board. Uh, so we don't, we, we're going to be using Lysander more to trap something in the active than, you know, pull something forward to get a knockout. Now uh, we got one Mallow to be able to, uh, I like using Mallow to search a deck for what you need and then using Mallow over and over again with Octillery to get the exact cards you need for the following turn. We got a uh, three in, three in for general draw support. One Olympia. Um, I don't remember my count on Kukuis, but I'm sure it's high to be honest. My count on Kukui is one. Okay, I got one Kukui, four Sycamore, of course, one teammates. And then we have, I think, the 3-2 Floatstone uh, Choice Band. And then for Energy, it's an interesting count. We got four Double Colors, because of course everybody everybody in our deck can attack for a Double Colors, I believe. Um, Rainbow Energies for those Psychic Pokemon. I think I have Rainbow instead of Psychic ones, because I occasionally do plan to use Fling, Passimian's first attack, which is unheard of. And then we have, I believe, one Psychic Energy, because that's definitely one we're playing. So like I said, I exported the deck. I will copy it into the description. If you guys want to try this out, feel free to. Feel free to make some adjustments on what can make the deck kind of flow better. But I originally had three uh, Tapu Koko promos, but I uh, had to make room for some of these other things. So I took some. I took one out because I plan on using Mew as a pseudo uh, Tapu Koko as well. So let's uh, save this. That's the deck name I have. You know, I think it just, Litten Coin, Normal Box is fine. Arceus is fine. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and take this on the ladder and see what happens. I'm not sure if it's actually any good at all. So you guys might, have, might watch me just fail here. Um, I think that was the one I was playing. What's the difference? This one was, I fit in the Garbodor. That's the difference. Not, that one might be better, I don't know. The only difference is it's the Garbodor is in there and the, and the, uh, Wobble Fett's not. But, okay, I got a clean house. Jeez, this is a lot of decks. This one. Let's play it. We got a zero win streak. Let's see where this can take us. <clears throat> wow. 
raw, raw fighting in normal. What could be fighting in normal? It could be just like a turbo Zygarde, maybe. I won the coin flip. Do I want to go first? No. The reason is because I want to attack first. Whew, not with that hand. Not with that hand. I cannot attack with that hand. No basics. Uh, so we're giving our opponent a free card on the first turn. It's a great idea, by the way. Complete sarcasm there. So we are starting with Pissimian, it looks like. <clears throat> and hopefully we do not prize any right now. I'm going to get that Oranguru up there as quickly as possible. And I don't want to play Oracorio until they have something in there. In their discard, because... Otherwise he's just kind of easy prize. Cubone. Marowak Break? Maybe? Yeah, so see, now's the time to play your Rogue decks, guys. Before... Everybody starts getting serious about Nationals before the new set releases in August. It's, uh, there's always going to be a lot of rogues, a lot of pet decks. You're going to see weird things, I think. Cubone with a Fighting Fury Ball. So he has 110 HP. I want to see him. Whimsy Tackle? I don't understand the choice on the Fury Ball there. Alright, well, what I'm going to do first is Bridget. I did not get in, so... Seems like the best choice here. Is to Bridget. Um, and I think I want to get rid of some cards here as well. I'm going to get rid of Teammates so I can access it later. And... Honestly, I think it's Oricorio. <clears throat> that I get rid of. Uh, what do I want here? Do I want Coco or do I want... I feel like I want Coco or Mew or Remoraid. Let's go ahead and get the draw support here. That's probably what we want first anyways. And then let's bank on this. Let's really hope we need a double colorless. Come on, DC. What is it? Oh, come on, game. What are you? Yeah, there it is. It's what I wanted. The DCE. I'm gonna team play for 90. Or 80. 80. Be able to two shot this Shaman. We'll see if they get a double colorless to come back. But see, that's really nice with this deck is that you can just. You can bridge it first turn and like have a full bunch of Pissimians maybe. Getting another Shaman. Some more draw support. What do I want to do next turn? Well, I don't think teammates. Uh oh, my game is starting to lag. That's not good. It's the only thing I have open now. Let me just check, make sure the recording's still going on. It is. We're at 13 minutes. Okay. We got the Marowak with sharpshooting. 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Your opponent's active opponent has a Pokemon EX. Switch it with one of your bench. Thank you for the end. You must have been super stuck. I was trying to figure out a way, like, how am I going to draw some more cards? But you fix that for me. Look at this, too. I can, like, instantly go into Octillery and I have Pissimian Octillery. <clears throat> Trust me, this deck's not this good. But it is running extremely well. For its inaugural play against someone. Could be just that they're not putting some early pressure on me. They're really trying to get completely set up before they start attacking. Ooh, there it is, the Zygarde. So it's probably Zygarde, Marowak Break. Max Elixir to try to get the Zygarde energy up. Another Cuban. He whiffed! And I don't know what I have. I don't know what this is. It's a Lysander, okay. I am going to Ultra Ball away the Psychic Energy. Yeah, I don't need that. And I actually don't need this Top of Coco, so I'm going to go ahead and go straight after Octillery. 
for that draw support. I should have got rid of the Sycamore, actually. And I am good where I am. Let's go ahead and abysmal hand. <clears throat> Next Ultra Ball I get, I'm definitely getting rid of that. There we go. Throw down the Magma Secret Base just for that last one. We're going to team play get two prizes here on the Shaman. One and two. Get Hex Maniac and an N. He's bringing up the Marowak. Let's see what he decides to do. Is he going to attack me with that Bone Windmill? I don't have Pokemon EX. Ah, oh, Escape Rope! Escape Rope, actually, that protects me, doesn't it? That's fine, I'll just throw another Persimian up there. As long as he doesn't end me, I should be fine. I'm gonna put his Zygarde up there. VS Seeker for an N! Yes, I thought so. I was like, via Seeker for an end, right? So then he ends, gets rid of all my supporters and my double colors in my hand. Could have used a DC there. So we just drop down and see what happens. Although, there we go, a float stone that can help us as well. I'm trying to make sure he gets a little bit of damage over there with the Magma's base. See what happens. Lamarack, a strong energy to do 60 damage to me. There's a sky field. That's useful. But I think the play here is to retreat. Put in the one in the active. The two Lysander or not two Lysander. Now if I Lysander, I'm going to bring in Shaman and take another two e easy prizes. Let's do that. Easy two prizes, get it off the board now. Um, <clears throat> and why not? We're going to Skyfield. One of these Rangaros Construct. Get another Choice Band. We'll put that on another Simeon, I guess. And I think we will Lele for a supporter. I'm not sure what supporter I want though. Probably Mallow, yes. We want Mallow. I'm gonna use Mallow so we can start like recycling Mallow over and over again. And then we're gonna abysmal hand for three more cards. And we're barely scratching the surface of our deck here. Uh we don't want to put Espeon down because it could be problematic. We put the other float stone on to Octillery, that is our last one. And I hate to go ahead and toss this down, but I don't want him to end me again where I can't find it. So we are going to team play Shaman to get this knockout. Resistance! And there we go, two more prizes. Rescue Stretcher and a Choice Van. What can we rescue Stretcher? We can rescue Stretcher with Tapu Koko or the Oracorio, actually. How many... One, two, three. So we can do 30 damage across the board with Oracorio right now. But... Tapu Koko seems like the better choice. If he does end up knocking out one of my Pissimians, I can get it back with Rescue Stretcher. Max Elix. So getting that Zygarde really powered up. Is there a way I can even do 190? Well, he just did 180 with what? With the Bone Revenge, this deck does 40 more damage for each prize card your opponent has taken. Very, very nice. Um, can I do that much damage though? He is, he is 140. Stick the one with the Float Stone in there. We may want to try a different tactic here in a moment. We have Brooklet Hill, which we do not want to use. Keep that in mind. Uh, I think what I'm going to do here is Rescue Stretcher, shuffle back the Passimian, Tapu, and the Oricoria. We can Ultra Ball for one of them. Um, could definitely Espeon. That might be the play right there. 30, 60, 70... has a hundred, okay. I 
think it's best to do the search here. Get rid of the choice band, actually. And grab... Show placement. What's your weakness? Grass weakness. Which we do not have. So, what do I want to do here? I think I want to grab a cocoa and spread some damage. I'm going to Mallow. Do we have a DC? We have a Persimmon with the DC. We want another Persimmon here. So we will grab that. What's a good card here? Kukri maybe? That'd be next turn anyways. I know I'm trying not to take forever, but I'm trying to be smart about it as well. Maybe we grab a Mew. You can use anybody's attack. And then, oh, yeah, that's Octillery. That's a Rangaroo for those two. Go ahead and throw those two down, and then see what Abysmal Hand gets us. <clears throat> and then we can Mallow next turn. But for now, let's retreat. I was hoping for an energy, that's why. Let's go ahead and team play for 100 damage, perfect. So they will fight back strongly here. <clears throat> yeah, so they were evolving Marowak pretty quickly for it being more of a Zygarde deck. 180! Very nice use of a Fighting deck. This is kind of cool, actually. So, if you're not expecting it now. I could probably throw that down. And, jeez, kind of stuck here. I want to mallow though, because that's what I want to do. Oh, teammates, you're right. I did just lose a Pokemon. Let's teammates instead. And what are we looking for? We're looking for an energy, so we want at least an energy. Whatever that one is. Because it's blacking out for some reason. Yeah, remember it. I was like, because uh, whatever that is. And what else do we want? Um, actually, I think two energies is what we want, right? Their uh, tools aren't doing anything for them, so we don't need that. How many energies we have in here? We have two. So let's grab a special charge here too. Um, and we are going to put the rainbow energy on him. We're going to go ahead and try to get two energies back. And oh, we can do more. Retreat into Espeon. And Abysmal Hand for one. A Rainbow Energy, nice. And then Miraculous Shine. For another prize card. One prize left. <clears throat> and we have to take down the Zygarde now. And we got the Mirac Break back up. Which hits hard. Choice band for that extra little damage. Espeon's probably gonna go down here. Well, actually, maybe not. 100, 160. Yeah. Sweet! I can get rid of some stuff. Um. Honestly. I think I get rid of Passimians, don't I? No, that hits the hardest. Let me think. Energy Drive does 60. Can hit pretty hard, but not hard enough. So I want to keep Mew. This is 
Alright, I'm definitely gonna get rid of, uh, I think I'm just gonna go with Fissimians. Because I can, um, I have one more rescue stretcher, I can bring him back. Land Wrath, okay, two prizes with that. Now it's the fun part. We're gonna go ahead and put Mew up here. Let's see what we can do. Do I even have any? I can search, but I don't think I have any fighting types. Yeah, we have a rescue stretcher. We have three DCEs and one on our hand, actually. So the question is for to use Mew or to use Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko is weak to fighting. 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to both Pokemon. So, to be 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. I could put a lot of damage on him right now. With, uh, energy drive. Looks like I have too many Sycamores in here. I don't need Hex Maniac for this round. So I can grab my other attacker here, or Corio. How many uh, Pokemon do you have in the discard? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can snipe for 70 right now. 18 cards left. Got an Olympia. Okay, so it looks like the best attack here is Energy Drive. Because Flying Flip's not going to do me much. So let's go ahead and Energy Drive for 120. 100 for the Energy and 20 for um, the Kukui. Retreating, but how much HP you have left? You have 70 HP left. Guess what that means? Ooh, what do you like? Tapu Lele. Darn. Ah, oh, so close. I had the win next turn. I literally had the win next turn. Well played. Well played. I didn't have a fight with me, though. Yeah, I had Pissimine, I guess. Okay, okay. Let's try this again. That was an interesting Rogue vs. Rogue. Did not expect to see Zygarde on the ladder here right now. There we go, 50 coins. Help us work towards getting buying a Zora, I guess. Probably the best use of the money. Get 750 coins and then buy Zora. Trade for Drampas and get your Zora Drampa deck, right? No, I don't think I played as well on this. Skepter? Spectre? I don't, is this actually Spectre? The YouTube? Or no? I don't know. I won the coin flip again, but I still want to attack first. Which could be, again, hurting me in the long run. It's purple hair. It might be Spectre. Ah, oh, to play Lele? Come on. That hinders me lots. Maybe I should be going first. I keep drawing Magma Base. Gengar Sleeves. This totally seems like it might be actually Spectre, the YouTuber. Which is kind of cool. I wonder what he's placing. Maybe he is playing Chandelure or uh, Gengar. <laughs> yes, throw it on the Oranger. I need to draw support badly. Shame it. Oh, he, he got a worse start than I did. It's hard to do that. It's hard to get a worse start than I do, but wow, you did it. Okay, you're going to anyway my hand. Dang, Ultra Ball. It's 20 damage I didn't get because I didn't go first. Tapu Lele, the super shiny rainbow version. Oh, they got the magma. Sweet. That means I'm gonna bridge it. <laughs> That's exactly what that means. It's like, I'm going to bridge it if I can. Thank you. I did not like that hand, Spectre. Did not like that hand at all. So. In a way, my hand, I didn't really get it. Oh, I did get an extra card. I got a Rangaroo down. Sweet. That's a lot better. 
Yes, we got the top of Lele too, so I could just... I don't have the float stone now though, dang it. So I'd like to just like go in. <laughs> but Mew's gonna have like 30 HP if I do that. Mm, what's the choice here? They have the magma down. Uh, I think I take 20 damage with Tapu, Lele, grab a Bridget, and Bridget for the other three, and say, huh? Your magma base really works on me, huh? That's how it works. I'm gonna get Rimmeray for sure. I do have the four Pissimians, but I don't know what he's playing. So I think it's best to try to do the Cocoa route right now. And then we'll grab a... Uh, well, I'm a fat. And we will throw this down on I don't know. We're gonna throw it down on top of it in case we want to retreat. That's about the best I can do. I'm gonna save the Ultra Ball for next turn to get the the artillery. So we're kind of in a tough spot. Our bench being small kind of hinders us. Another N! Hey, I only had five cards. It's fine with me. It'll allow me to get that artillery probably a little bit easier. And we got Mallow and Ultra Ball. There we go. And a Float Stone. There we go. We have everything we need now. So let's go ahead, throw down some more. I need you to take a couple of knockouts before I can throw down, find Espeon again, and then just de-evolve things to not get knockouts. We get Drampa, so this is a big... I should have known that based on Team Magma's base, that it was Drampa. Drampa's gonna hit 150 right now, and Drampa Zara. Okay, so Passimian. We will want Passimian in this matchup. I wasn't definite of it, though. But we can definitely... Whew, I think I want to use that. I think I want to use that. Yes, look at that top deck. Talk about luck, right? But we're going to definitely uh, get rid of the Mallow and uh, Top of Coco here. Two Crab Octillery. Play the Octillery. There's a float stone. And what can do the most damage here to uh to Drampa? I don't think what does the most damage to him. I even have and now let's go ahead and Rangaroo for two. Okay, let's go ahead and abysmal hand for two. Oh jeez, yeah, so that just sticks me. But since he has 10 cards, I'm definitely going to end. Should have did it first, I guess, but I wasn't sure. And, ooh, there we go, Choice Band is going to help me. We wasted the big, the big wheel GX. We got wasted. We are in a flying clip for 50 on Drampa and 20 on the rest of things. We're going to try out this strategy since we saw more of the Passimian in the last match. We're going to try more of the Sprite and DF the, the, the Evolve in this match. With the Choice Band, Drampa. Drampa, you're just going to one-shot me no matter what you do. You know this, right? But if I can get another... I think my other Coco is in this card. Yes, it is. Okay. Righteous Edge. Really? Righteous Edged. I think I'm okay with that, actually. I'm okay with that play. He right just edged me. If I mellow, it only gives me... I still have five cards in my hand, so that does not help me. If I mellow. Um, I'm gonna have to either Lysander and get something stuck in the active 
which is super easy, right? It's one energy. That's not enough. Standin's gonna prevent it either, anyways. So we will have two sycamore here. <clears throat> Just really weighing my options. Are you kidding me? Wow. That's a surprise. Okay, so now... Now we gotta play some weird things, because we need to draw something specific. Um, so I think what we want to do is throw away our Persimians. Even though it is a win condition. Grab the other Persimian. We don't want to throw away all of them actually because... Uh, Mew's not helpful in this match. So let's grab the Espeon. That gives us three cards. Allows us to abysmal hand. Come on. Ugh, really? I guess we should have Lysander. Ah, uh, since Tapu Koko is my, um... Attacker, I'm going just to retreat into Wobbuffet here. Let Wobbuffet let me set up. That's about the best I can do here. <clears throat> really, the only reason Wobbuffet's here to be berserked by Drampas. That's what he's there for. To be berserked by Drampas. Via Seeker Lysander, I assume? No, Hex Maniac. I'm fine with that. Take away my draw support, that's fine with me. But I need to get the sky field out so that I can extend my bench and then when it sinks, I can um, be fine. I'm fine with that being the first prize you take, Grandpa. Because now I got my DCE. I can throw down. Uh, Kukui. And I don't have another attacker down. Yikes. Um, jeez. Okay. So, I'm going to do that. Throw down a belt on our band. And flying flip. 470 on Drampa. And spread damage everywhere else. So we should lose this top of Coco here. Unless he... Lysander's in Passimian, because Passimian is the threat. Passimian knocks out a lot. No, he's actually going after the Coco. Thank you. Now here, I need to go off. We need to, um... Um... Because I'm not sure if I can get all the pieces together, I'm going to put an artillery up front there. Uh... I think I'm going to throw down Espeon now. We are going to VA Seeker Mallow. Because we are going to Mallow here. For, uh, Sky Field, Rescue Stretcher, and we want Sky Field first, so go ahead and play that. Just so I can, I'll put that there. We will abysmal hand. And rescue stretcher.
shuffle those three back into my deck. Oh, I thought I already abysmal hand, didn't I? Is it letting me abysmal hand again? No, it's letting me retreat, right? Yeah, it's letting me retreat. Sorry, I got confused there. And I think team play will take him out. How much HP you have? 40. Yeah. <laughs> Strongest Pacinian ever. <laughs> team play for 80 with no Pacinians on the bench. That's too funny. This is this Turtonator? Ooh, all the shinies. Spectre Gods. All the shinies. He's probably super confused by what my deck is. This is running long, but I think this second match is really showing off a lot here. Um, what do we have here? We have... We can almost not got, take out two more prizes there with another Coco. So what I might do in this turn is... Uh, Rescue Stretcher Coco. There's the break. Nothing on my... You're gonna have to mind jack. 4, 1, 60. I am fine with it. Ooh, you have 60 damage on me, though. Hmm. Tempting, 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 tempting. Because I could just do a cheeky game, cheeky thing right now and just de-evolve the two, but it's not enough damage on the board here. Um, so, let's go ahead, Rescue Stretcher, shuffle three, we're gonna shuffle Mew, Passimian, and Coco, my favorite art version, not the one everyone plays, and I think, how many cards he has, he has three, I think I'm gonna end here. Or should I mallow for two specific cards? See, I don't think there's a way for me to... Oh, that's what I should do. I'm gonna get set up here. With Bridget. Grab all the bench mines. Well, actually, let's grab one Coco. Since he's useful, and I need one more turn. How much damage do you do to him? And you draw 20 times the damage, so 20, 40, 80. Yeah, that's my play right there. One he's probably not paying attention to. We'll my hand just to see what we can get here. Good, good, good. But we will energy drive here to knock out break. Exact math. Exact math with Lele. Gotta love it. What I might save that last bench spot for is a Mew. This game is pretty tied up, and this is Drampa, or this is Zora, Drampa, <laughs> sorry, Drampa Zora, that's what I'm, Zora, um, that we're playing, so it's a pretty top tier deck right now. Oh, there's the end to three cards. And another break hits the board. Do I have a lot of Pokemon in this? No, I don't. Oh, check out the top tech DCE. Wow. With that, um, do we have two specials in here? We have three specials in there. Top tech DCE. Literally our last one in the deck. But we'll, we'll go ahead and put some back. You know, you know, we'll put some back. Um, <laughs> I'm going to root for one. 
see what we get here, a teammate, and we're gonna abysmal hand for two more. Hex Maniac, I think that's what I'm gonna use this turn. We are going to retreat again. Hex Maniac. And Flying Flip. Really stick it to him. So we got two more prizes here. Or Choreo. What's our easiest thing to knock out? That has 90. That has 50, right? 50. So if we can do 50 to Shaman, <clears throat> we can take our win here. So that should probably be our goal in this next one, is to do 50 damage to Shaman. That's 70, and those two have a lot. So Shaman is definitely our target here, in our last thing. Mind Jack for lots of damage. Does not have enough on him. Let's go ahead and put Lele back up here. So, what I need is a Lysander, actually. Sucks. I don't have a Lysander. And I can't do snipe damage right now. How many Pokemon do you have in your discard? One, two, three, four, five. There's my choice right there. So, literally, the reason you play this right here is to retreat, play. Supernatural Dance to Shaman. <laughs> he bounced. He bounced because he's like, what was that? So there you go. So you use some perfect math and you get those weird prizes he gave up before I got the final blow on Shaman there, but there's this weird deck, it's 2-0. I don't understand why. I mean, all it was was the deck text everybody is using. Wow, so what do we add on time? We are 47 minutes in. Uh, I'm sorry if this video runs long, but wow. Okay, we have 5 Guardians Rising, how about we open up those? Um. Yeah, I think that's the right choice. Let's go ahead and open up some Guardians Rising. We got three locked ones, so let's see what we get in our uh, lock packs, you know. We got Stufel, that Glalie. I need to try to figure out something with Glalie, too. Hey, wishy washy, she hikes. Let's open up another one, and it is Cottony, Altar of the Sun, Reverse Foil. Victini Victory Star with a Lilligant. Number three, number lot, is a Walter Energy, that Snow Runt Rescue Stretcher, and a rare is Gothitelle. Okay, let's go to the two unlocked. Maybe we can get something good to trade, good, some, something good to trade, good to trade from Brooklet Hill, Field Blower, and a Victory Bell. No Victory, yeah. <laughs> Water Energy. Gally Bird, that Shady Pink, Jengma, oh, Bulletproof, and a Mini or Tis, tis, tis. Something we can open up one of. Let's open up one XY base. One XY base. Because, you know, we can. One XY base gives us Darkest Energy. That's not good. Hey, Sycamore. And a Macargo. Nothing too great there. Wishy washy, but. Uh, tell me next time, guys. What do you guys want to see? Do you guys want to see Gudra? Or if, do you want to see some Gliscor? Um, or, you know, let me not spell right. Some Gliscor finishing stinger. It's time for some Rogue decks, guys. You know, we're just buying some time before Burning Shadows comes across and. That is when we truly start trying to figure out what we want to play the next year, right? So, uh, this has been Dapper Drabby. I will leave you guys off at exactly 50 minutes, I think. Um, but this has been Dapper Drabby. I bid you guys a Lola. Leave a comment, leave a like if you guys like this video. This is a really fun deck. Go try it out yourself. But for now, see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye now.